Hello, I'm Ulysses. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert boring old documentation in Markdown format into a super fancy website in just a couple of minutes. So, I'm going to use in this example a German uh, scaffolding, a generator that I created myself called uh, Generator Fast Documentation. So, uh, basically, what are the features that we are looking in this in this case? We we want to use Docusaurus, which is a fantastic tool for doing documentation. Um, I already prepared this template to be out of the box with a lot of fancy features like GitHub Actions, for example. So you can already include pull request reviews, you know, with all the linting and testing and so on. And, and also you have the possibilities to use Docker, for example, so you can see um, so you can see everything in detail and you can ship it uh, really easy. That's that's the idea as well. So if you are already using Markdown, you will not need to change uh, anything on the files, uh, but you can uh, do a lot of fancy things. I will show you in a moment as well. If you are not familiar with Docusaurus, there is something really fancy about it is that you have a support for MDX, which is a fantastic way of extending Markdown. So you have the opportunity, you know, to have a, red, a React kind of thing together with Markdown. So basically you can uh, have iframes e and so on, and you can extend it with React components and so on. So it's uh, it's really fancy, it's really good, and it's going to, you know, blow your mind if it's the first time you use it. Um, so yeah, let me show you an example of the typical project that uh, I normally convert into this kind of documentation kind of thing. So we have this, uh, this project called uh, One Beyond Maintainers. Uh, previously it was known as One Beyond Admins. So if you watch our streaming videos, uh, you already know this. If not, it's a good repo to check it out. Um, so yeah, basically what we have here is the typical uh, repository that we use to, you know, uh, store some how-tos guide, meeting notes, governance notes. Basically, is, you know, if you're a new maintainer in our organization, the idea will be something like, um, how do I give permissions in the repositories? How do I manage the stream in YouTube? Uh, this kind of questions, you know, so there's kind of document those processes and make it easier. The problem with this kind of documentation is, uh, although even if you have the uh, uh, GitHub flavored Markdown and so on, you still have a lot of, you know, folders and links and you have to move around the files and render them. So it's not as intuitive, as fancy as a website. And also it sometimes is hard also to share links specifically and so on, although GitHub is doing a great job for that, but it's still to be hard. So I uh, personally prefer to have a good website that I can use and make reference and share links and so on. Uh, so yeah, let me let me show you how we can make this magic work. So uh, first of all, you have to clone the repository. Uh, just have a repository ready for you. In my case, I have it already here. So uh, you see, I have all the files that you see before. Let me do a little bit of zoom so you can see here all the metrics and manage Slack and so on. So the same folder structure. What we are going to do is create a new folder called, for example, content in this case. Uh, the idea of this folder will be to take all of the folders that we have with this content. So it's like going to be the governance, sorry, it's in the command, governance, how to meetings and the readme. And I'm going to move that inside of the content. Okay, the idea of this is just, I'm going to isolate all these pieces in one folder. Uh, later on, we are going to integrate this. So first of all, we are going to use NPM. So if you are not familiar with, uh, with NPM, uh, let me show you a little bit how this works. So basically I'm going to install a global dependency uh, called generator fast documentation. So if it's the first time you are using a uh, Geoman generators, probably you don't have Geoman itself installed. So you will need to add Geo at the end, which is the command for Geoman. In my case, I will use, uh, I always need to install the generator. So that's all I need for now. Let me do a little bit of zoom out so you can see. Uh, normally the process of the installation can take several minutes depending on your machine. This is the expected, you know, you have some uh, deprecation notice and so on. Don't worry, that's because it's a generator and not uh, the real project. So it's not, you don't inherit all of that. So don't worry. Next thing is you're going to use Geoman. So let me show you. So you're going to use Geoman and you're going to pass directly as an argument the generator that you want to use. In this case, it's fast documentation. So basically I'm going to press enter and basically uh, in a few seconds, you will see how 
this project is going to start asking me questions like, you know, what's the title of your website? Uh, what do you want to build and so on? So in my case, the title of my website will be something like One Billion Mountainers. Uh, then we need like a kind of a catchy phrase, you know, for the tagline. So I have already one prepared. Next thing it's going to ask me is like, what's going to be the URL in this case of the website? So in our case, it will be something a little bit long. Probably it's not going to be the final URL, but I think it's fine for now. It's like a, a maintainers .open source one beyond.com maybe it's a little bit longer but yeah any case um do you want uh, do you need any base url or do you keep the old one i will keep the slash the typical one then next thing is you need to add the git url so let's add it already and then it's going to ask me two questions that are critical for me let me show you a little bit so one of the question is do you want to use uh, GitHub Actions, in this case, I will see yes, because I'm using GitHub at the end. So GitHub Actions will run, you know, will prepare some uh, YAML files with all the configurations. So that's fantastic. And then you have the LinkedIn and all of that. So it's going to check every pull request and every push to main and so on. So that's fantastic. And then you have another question. If you are not doing any configuration additionally to the generator, just say yes. Basically, this is going to, you know, install all the dependencies, uh, build the change log, uh, run the LinkedIn, start the project and so on so it's like just to all and basically the one important thing also if you are not used to this kind of generators if you have already some files and you are going to overwrite them with the generator that's why you move some of the content away uh it's going to ask you like what you want to do so in this case is do you want to upgrade the git ignore with the new one i will say absolutely yes because i want the git ignore rules related to docusaurus rather than the ones that they had before um so yep yeah. That's happening. Uh, depends on your machine, obviously. This can take more or less, but it's going to do the NPM installation of all your dependencies. So it's building the node modules and so on. And as well, it's going to do some change log and other magic. So you will see that in a moment. Okay, so uh, now that the installation and the rest of the steps are done, let, let's check it out fast uh, what happened. So basically we initialize the server. So you can see here, you know, how the website is already built. So you have like the typical fancy localhost 3000 with a welcome and not a lot of information. Obviously you have the typical dark and white theme and you have some links, you know, for example, to this repository. So by the way, it's the same GitHub URL that you has been asked to answer in the questions at the beginning. So yeah, basically it's doing some customizations. Um, the idea is if we check it out together, the log, so we basically, you see that the server is currently running. So you have the Cosarus running and then you have some changes you see related to the change log. So basically it's building a change log for you and running some LinkedIn and so on. Um, just in case you have something we on the files and right now everything looks fancy and cool. And you see, for example, here you have a change log that uh, previously you didn't have. And this change log includes, you know, the typical bug fixing features and so on. So you have all the notes and all the information that you are looking for. So that's fantastic. And now the next thing is, okay, so how I move the Mardon files to the repository. So if, if you have a look here, you have the content folder inside of this content folder. We have this meeting governance, how to and so on. And we have a docs folder here, which include the welcome MDX. So if you remember, we have this MDX, MDX, which is a very fancy and very cool way to extend Markdown. Um, so yeah, you see here, for example, you have some metadata for the file. So you can define this look, the ID, the title and so on. So you can customize a lot. In our case, we are going to take directly what we have from uh, in the folders so we take the meetings the how to and the governance and we put it directly inside of the docs so we move the files and what is going to happen is um a docu service is going to recognize these changes and soon it's going to recompile the client so basically we're going to see that in the nav uh, in the nav menu in a moment as well i want to take the all uh, welcome uh, well uh, readme that we have in the past so i'm going to copy uh, the content and I'm going to pass that content to the welcome page. So it's going to be like more expressive and I'm going to save the changes. And as this is working in real time, uh, normally much faster than in my computer currently, but when you have all these changes, it's going to do the live uh, reloading and so on. So you can see these kind of changes live. So just a fast catch up, we move the old content folder inside of the docs. And actually we can just remove this uh, content folder easily move to the trust we can forget about it we have moved everything inside of the docs folder let's see how that works in terms of the website so you have the new website 
So that's good. You have a menu here with the same structure as the folders. You can access, you know, to the how to use Slack in our organization, how to do meeting streaming in YouTube, uh, meeting notes and so on. So this is basically the same markdowns that you have before, but, you know, including all the links, structure and so on. So you can, you know, you have the access to the specific links in the file. And it's fantastic because also if you see anything weird here, you can just directly go to the repository and make the changes for this file. Um, you can navigate, you know, between the pages and move it one after another and so on. Also, you can change to the black theme. Um, if you're into the, in your, if you need to check this out in a mobile, for example, you have a full responsive version of this. So you can see everything here. Yeah, you see, you have your menu, you have your light and dark theme and you have everything here so you can move even navigate inside of the same page and so on and that's for free i mean that's a good thing of docosaurus that you have tons of things but uh, sometimes can be a little bit hard you know to build it so in this case it's as simple as that i hope you use this generator on your day to day and hope you i hope this is going to help you to make a better documentation for your own project have a nice day if you like this video just subscribe thank you